question or comment comes to us from John in Texas. And it's really a comment about what I talked about, what Jack says he does. And John says that this has been kind of a mantra now for his golf swing, which, by the way, it is for me. And, you know, Jack made the comment along with Tiger, and I want to keep reinforcing this because a lot of what you see or have seen in golf over the last 25 years has been about restricting this right hip, you know, kicking your knee in, you know, getting in here, restricting your hip, coiling in the, and then firing. Well, that's really gotten a lot of people in a lot of bad situations. Uh, so when you talk to Jack and you ask him about his right hip or what he does when he gets set up, and I've stood behind Jack and put my hand on his hip and then had him move so I could feel what he's doing. Standing back there, putting your hand right here on his hip, when he starts his backswing, I mean, this right hip, I mean, it, it pushes back. I mean, this hip goes that way. Now, his leg doesn't straighten out. And the reason his knee doesn't straighten that much Here's the key relative to getting your hips out of the way. Your femur, this bone that comes up in your leg, sits in your hip socket. Now, if your hip socket's relaxed, your femur can rotate and your pelvis can rotate on top of your femur and your leg doesn't have to, they're not one unit. You know, they're, 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 they're two multiple units, they're working like this. If all of a sudden your hip socket's tight, this is not a ball and socket joint anymore. So what starts to happen is, if your hip socket's really tight, the only way I can move my hip back is my knee then has to straighten out to push this whole joint back. If my hip socket's relaxed, see, I can, my hip can rotate on top of this femur. And so the outside of my hip moves back, and my hip socket can actually move back a little bit. If, when I take a hold of Jack's hips and he moves, it's incredible how loose he is in his hips. Okay, so the comment is, Jack said he gets his right hip as far out of the way as he can and then from there he takes the club to the ball and he runs the club into the ball and then he lets his body just follow through on the follow through side. Now when you watch it on video that's not what it looks like. That's what he's feeling. Tiger made a comment. Tiger made a comment here a little while ago. They asked him about his hips and how does he use his lower body. He made the comment that on his backswing all he tries to do is get his right hip as deep. Now he said deep. How to get his right hip as deep as he can get it and on the downswing he wanted to get his left hip as deep as he could get it. He said nothing about turning his hips. He said get his right hip as deep and then his left hip as deep. Okay so what they're trying to do is get away from the ball. They're not necessarily trying to twist. Rotation is an effect, not a cause. So if you stand here and you try to force your hips to rotate, I mean, that's a way to do it, but that's not really how your body's designed to move. It's designed to move with straight line forces. So you push back and you push back. Now here's what's interesting. Once somebody gets turned, I've been teaching a long time, I've never seen this happen. I've never seen somebody swing back get this hip turn, get out of the way, and start their arms down and go, and have this not move. I've never seen that happen. But I've seen a lot of this. I've seen people go back, and this part moves way too fast. So it's unlikely. If you get your hip out of the way, and you think you're staying here and you're hitting the ball, you're probably not gonna stay there. You're gonna go ahead and go with it. It's not gonna not move. Most people are so tight in their shoulders that they get back and the first thing they do is they, because they've heard unwind, get to your left side and unwind. And so it, it's this move out of the top. So what Jack said is a feel, get your right hip out of the way. And then when he came down, he felt like the placket of his shirt was aimed behind the ball. So he felt like he hit the ball like this. Now, he didn't, it was a feeling. So when you go out, if you try that and it works, use it. Jack's a pretty good player. I mean, it's interesting. <laughs> these savants, these great players who had ideas and tried things, and all of a sudden, everything they did doesn't work anymore. It's not right. We watched Jack putt. Nicholas was the best putter in the history of golf. He stood open, put his eyes to the right of the ball, his right arm was here, and he pissed and putt.
cut it that way. Why don't people copy that? Oh no, you got to be square. You got to have this. You got to have that. Why? Because that's what we've all decided is the best way. Jack had a decent career putting, not square. Okay, so you got to be careful about the model, and this is what you're supposed to do. All right, so I'm glad that that really helped. I mean, Nicholas is a good player. Uh, he's got a lot of really good instincts relative to a golf swing. I tell you, I've learned so much being around him, just talking to him about what he feels and what he thinks and what he fixes and how he adjusts and how he practices. I mean, uh, this guy, it's unbelievable the knowledge that he has that people haven't even pulled out of his head. It's, it's incredible. So thanks for the comment. Don't be afraid to get out of the way and stay out of the way and hit it and let your body go with your arms. Now, having said that, if you go here and you go there and your arms go and your body doesn't keep going with your arms, okay, that's not going to work either. you got to let it go and your body has to go with it. Mr. Flick used to have a comment. He says, is this a follow through or a lead through? Now, I know it's a play on words. But what does follow through mean? Well, follow through means it comes after something. So when they say go swing to your follow through, so that means the club's going and you're following it through. This is a lead through. That was kind of his way to put it in terms from a concept perspective that people kind of got it. And to some degree, I like a lot of what that says. Is it a follow through or a lead through? All right, you're following the club through. For a lot of people, that's a really good way to do it. For some, it may not work, but I can promise for probably 90%, get out of the way and follow the club through is going to help most people because they don't get out of the way and they get too twisty out of the top. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.